Are you wondering if you can create a landing page for an online conference using Squarespace? Well, in this video, I will show you an example of a landing page for a recent summit that I just created. So here's the aethon.de website for an online conference that's happening as we speak right now in November 2022. Now, this landing page was created on Squarespace 7.0, but there's no reason why you can't do it in 7.1 as well. So in 7.0, there is something called an index, which is a collection of pages. So everything that you see here is actually a separate page. All these different sections are different pages. In 7.1, you would just create one long scroll page and all of these would be actually sections. So here we started off with the first section and all you would do is use some CSS code to hide the header and footer of your normal website. And I've created a different top navigation just for this landing page. So uh, I don't want to see the rest of the site, just the sections that are relevant to this conference. And then we have a second section here we got a beautiful banner of all the speakers, uh, a header here telling that it's 18 days and 18 speakers with one goal, the date, and uh, here a line about who is presenting this conference and for whom. And as we scroll down, here's a timer, so people can click here to uh, you know, sign up and this will jump down to a lower section on the page, which I'll show you in a second. And then we have a section here talking about uh, what, when, uh, 18 trader, last when do, 18, yeah, what happens when you bring together 18 plus experts under the same um, umbrella, so to speak. And uh, talks a little bit about the, the conference, 18 days, daily main session, daily VIP event. Obviously, this is in German, so I'm translating here a little bit. Uh, this is a event that my husband is running who is German and it's for German language uh, audience in Switzerland, Austria, Germany and anywhere really uh, for German speaking audience. The motto, who it is for and um, here he's explaining what an EA thon is. EA is an expert advisor. It's a trading tool for traders. And he's explaining that it's like a marathon, but for EAs. And in, in the US and the English speaking wor world, we use that all the time, right? Uh, e like from marathon, there are all these, um, we have a Toyota ton <laughs> and all kinds of uh, events that build on the word marathon, but I'm not sure if it easily translates into German. So here's a little bit uh, fitness program for your trading in November. We have a section here for the keynote speaker. And then all the speakers here, um, this is something that you can do using an image and then have a hover, you know, text on hover so that you can have all the information. Because, because this is such a big event, we have 18 plus speakers, some events, some of the presentations have two speakers. So there's just a lot of speakers. And so I decided to have smaller thumbnail images if you have a smaller event with maybe five or 10, you can have bigger images obviously and have more room for the bios here, you know? But I like this feature where you can just have a hover effect on the image. Uh, and I'm not sure if this is possible in 7.1 as well, but definitely in 7.0, you can, you can do that. In 7.1, you would use one of those testimonial collection sections to create a, a look like this. Again, a button. The call to action you will see show up everywhere on the page in the same color. So it trains the eyes to recognize that this is a button and it, that's where you can um, purchase. And then we have the agenda, a little bit of description of what the program is gonna be. I also created a PDF so that um, the visitor can see the entire event uh, as a single PDF and download it so they can organize their schedule. I also use the accordion feature to break down three groups of days and show all the events 
the day, the, the date, and the, uh, the presenter's name, the topic of their event, and then, you know, that there's going to be a VIP session, uh, like that. So I've used the accordion type block to create this. Uh, here is my darling husband. He's the gastgeber and moderator, which is a host and moderator, and a little bio about him. And then here I have the two ticket types, the basis, which is a free ticket and the VIP backstage pass that uh, you, you can, I created this by using some CSS code to create background color and gray border. Uh, and I had to put a, um, a line in between so that they would look at, as two distinct blocks instead of merging into each other. So these two are blocks, uh, text blocks that have some CSS uh, coding behind it, and then the ticket button here. Um, final image here, a section for the sponsors, invitation for future sponsors. Again, the um, the time, the how do you call this? The clock, the clock timer countdown timer <laughs> oh, my brain mixing up all the terms so here's the uh, countdown timer and again here's the button to to click so let me show you when you come back on the very top these are anchor links you can look at video 131 where I show you how to link the main navigation to a section on a page and that's exactly what I have here right so in 7.0, I can just put the URL, easy peasy, you know, that's how I would do it. But in 7.1, you would need some uh, extra steps, which I have shown you in this video, which you can have a look at. So when you click on the speaker section, it goes to the keynote speaker session, section, and then all the speakers. And then the agenda will jump down to the agenda section. And finally, the ticket booking purchase or book your ticket goes to the section where you have the tickets. Now, in many landing pages, you will find that this section is repeated several times. And um, we decided that one time is enough, but that may be something you may want to consider. If you want to have two times, first, very much at the beginning of the landing page, and then second, towards the end of the landing page. Uh, this button, of course, goes to uh, where the ticket can be booked. Now, if you're using ConvertKit or email marketing, then you could, um, you know, link it to a page for the free ticket and then another one for the paid one. Um, if you're using some other tool, then you would know what this, these buttons should link to. For the German audience, we have linked this to Digistore or Digistore. And so it goes to the Digistore um, purchase button where they have the form and all, all the information about purchasing the, uh, the summit tickets for the VIP and for the, the free ticket. So this upper nav link actually jumps to this section and then from there people can navigate to the one that they, they want to purchase. So there you have it, a brand new landing page for an online summit that I created for my client who's also my husband and I had a lot of fun creating it. So it's possible to do that on Squarespace, both on 7.0 and on 7.1. You would need to make sure that your buttons are linked correctly to wherever you are collecting subscribers, whether it's email marketing or directly to a purchase link if you have a VIP um, option for purchasing the ticket. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have other questions or other kinds of videos you'd like me to make. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.